Is it you who found the body of the murdered man? Yes, ma'am. It was I who found the body. This morning, as usual, I was gathering rubber woods for cooking. Where's the exact location? The exact location was about, I think, 150 meters off the road um, near a bamboo groove and rubber trees. of the Kyoto style. A single sword stroke on his breast with fallen, I guess, rubber leaves. Did you saw any sword or such a thing? No, nothing ma'am. I only found a rope and in addition to it, a comb. That was all. Apparently, he must have made a battle of it before he was murdered because the grass was fallen and there are lots of fallen rubber leaves too. When was the last time you saw the company? It was about noon yesterday, ma'am. The unfortunate man was on the road from Sikiyama to Yamashina. A scarf hanging from her head hid her face from view. All I saw was the color of her clothes, a lila color suit. Her horse was sorrel with a fine mane. And then the lady's height? Oh, about four or five. Five inches since I am the Buddhist priest here, I took little notice about her details. Well, the man was armed with a sword as well as bow and arrows. And I remember that he carried 20 odds arrows in his quiver. Little did I expect that he would meet such a fate. Truly human life, an evanescent as the morning dew or a flash of lightning. My words are inadequate to express my sympathy for him. The man you arrested. He was the notorious brigand called T Tajumaro. When I arrested him, he was falling off his horse. He's groaning on the bridge of Awataguchi. What is the time? Um, the time? Bow and arrow you use look like the one who owned by the dead man. You say that this bow and arrow looks like one owned by the dead man? Then, Tajumaro must be the murderer. The bow wound with a leather strip and a black flakered quiver, the 17 arrows with a hawk feather, they were all positioned, I believe. Thank you for your cooperation with regard to this case. Yes, Okay. Have a nice day. How 
are you related to the murdered man, Takehiko? That corpse is the man who married my daughter. He does not come from Kyoto. He was a samurai in the town of Kukufu in the province of Wakasa. His name was Kanazawa no Takehiko. And his age is 26. He was a gentle disposition. So I am sure that nothing to provoke the anger of others. So, can you tell me something about your daughter? My daughter? Her name is Masago. And her age is 19. She's a spirited, fun-loving girl. But I am sure she has never known any man except Takehiko. She has a small, oval, dark, conflicted face with a mole at the corner of her left eye. Then, when was the last time you saw Takehiko? Yesterday, Takehiko left for a casa with my daughter. So, do you have any knowledge where is your daughter right now? What bad luck it is that they should have come to such a sad end. What has become of my daughter? I am resigned to giving up my son in law as lost. But the face of my daughter worries me sick. For heaven's sake, leave no stone unturned to find her. I hate the Robert Ajamaro, or whatever his name is. Not only my son in law, but my daughter. personally the murdered man and what's your reason for killing him and do you know where the wife is i killed him but not her where she gone um i can tell oh wait a minute no torture can make me confess what i don't know now things have come to such a head i won't keep anything from you yesterday a little past noon i meet that couple just then the pop of wind blew and raised her hanging scarf so that I caught a glimpse of her face. Instantly it was again covered from my view. That may have been one reason. She looked like Woody Satma. At that moment I made up my mind to capture her even if I had to kill her man. All the things that you did and your reason for doing it. In killing, I used to sword that were at my side. And I'm the only one who kills people. You. You don't know you use your swords. You kill people with your power, with your money. Sometimes you kill them with the pretext of the working out for good. It's sure that they don't bleed. They die are the best of health, but all the same, you've killed them. It's hard to say who is the greater sinner. You or me. <laughs> you or me. Great sinner. But it would be good if I could capture a woman without killing her man. So I made up my mind to capture her and do my best not to kill her man. But it's not just a question on the Yamashina stage road. So I managed to lure the couple into the mountains. It was quite easy. I became the traveling companions and I told them there was an old man mound in the mountain over there. <laughs> he was beginning to be moved by my talk before he knew it. <laughs> in less than half an hour, they were driving their home toward the mountain with me. When he came, in front of the group, I told them that the treasures were buried in it, and I asked them to come and see. The man had no objection. He was blinded by greed. The woman said he would, she would wait on the horseback. It was natural for her to say so, at the sight of the thick group. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Did I get the rope? I think heaven doing a rope. I had a rope with me. Since I went out to scale, I had a wall at me. Of course, I went to this woman and asked her to come and see him. Because he seemed to have been suddenly taken sick. It's needless to say that this plan was so also worthwhile. The woman her search hat off came to the death of the girl, where I led her by her hand. The instant she caught sight of her husband. You're a small sword. Don't let her go! But I touch my room. I managed to strike down her small sword without throwing my own. The most spirited woman is defenseless without a weapon. At least I could satisfy my desire for her without taking her husband's life. when she frantically clung to my arm and broken from my support she asked that either her husband or I die she said it was more trying than death to have her shame known to two men she gasped out how deep that she wanted to be the wife of whichever survived then a fierce desire to kill him seized me but the moment I gazed at her face in the dark grove I decided not to leave her leave there without killing him. But I didn't like a sort of unfair means to kill him. Anti I untied him and told him to cross swords with me. third stroke please remember this I repress with that fox still nobody under the sun who ever clashed swords with me 20 strokes that's all my confession I know that my head will be hung chance anyway so put me down a maximum penalty
Are you Masago? Yes, I am. Okay, I have questions for you. Um, Masago, do you know any reason why you, the Jumaru killed your husband? That may. In the white silk kimono. After forcing me to yield to him, he laughed mockingly as he looked at my bound husband. How horrified my husband must have been. But no matter how hard you struggle in agony, the rope cut into him, all the more tightly. In spite of myself, I ran stumblingly toward his side. Or rather, I tried to run toward him, but the man instantly knocked me down. Then, what else happened when you wake up? Just at that moment, I saw an indescribable light in my husband's eye. Something beyond expression. His eyes make me shudder even now. At that instantaneous look of my husband, who couldn't speak a word, told me all his heart. A flush in his eyes was neither anger nor sorrow, only a cold light, a look of loathing. More struck by the look in his eyes than by the blue of the teeth. I called out in spite of myself and feel unconscious. In the course of time, I came to and found that the man in the white silk was gone. I saw only my husband, still bound to the root of the cedar. I raised myself from the bamboo blades with difficulty and looked into his face. But the expression in his eyes was just the same as before. There was hatred, shame, grief, and anger. I don't know how to express my heart at the time. Reeling to my feet, I went up to my husband. I said to him, Takihiro, You saw my shame, and I cannot live with you. Now give me your life, and I will give mine too. my own truth with a small sweep. I threw myself into a pen at the foot of the mountain. When I tried to kill myself in many ways, unable to end my life, I am still living in dishonor. I killed my own husband. I was violated by the robber. Whatever can I do? Whatever can I? I...
What did the murdered man say? After violating my wife, the robber, sitting there, began to speak comforting words to her. Of course, I couldn't speak. My whole body was tied fast to the root of a cellar. But meanwhile, I winked at her many times, as much as to say, don't believe the robber. I wanted to convey some such meaning to her. But my wife, sitting dejectedly on the bamboo leaves, was looking at hard at her lap. To all appearance, she was listening to his words. I was agonized by jealousy. It's my love for you that made me violent towards you. While the criminal talked, my wife raised her face as if in a trance. She had never looked so beautiful as that moment. What did my beautiful wife say in answer to him while I was sitting down there? I am lost in space. But I never thought of her answer without burning the anger and jealousy. Truly, she said. Then take me away with you, wherever you go. Is it not the whole of her sin? If that were all, I would not be tormented so much in the dark. When she was going out, quietly folding his arms, she looked at me and said, What will you do with her? Kill her or save her? You have only to not kill her. For these words alone, I would like to pardon his word. While I hesitated, she reeked and ran into the depth of the grove. The robber instantly snatched at her, but he felt even though gas her sleep. After she ran away, he took up my sword and my bow and arrows. With a single stroke, he cut one of my bonds, and I remember his mumbling, my fate is next. Then he disappeared from the group. All was silent after that. No, I heard someone crying, and tying the rest of my bonds. I listened carefully, and I noticed that it was my own crying. I raised my exhausted body from the foot of the cedar. In front of me, there was a shining small sword which my wife had dropped. I took it up and stabbed it into my breast. A bloody lump rose throughout my mouth, but it didn't feel any pain. When my breast grew cold, everything was as silent as the death in the graves. What profound silence, not a single bird note was heard in the sky over this grave in the hollow of the mountains. And once and for all, I sank down into the darkness of space. given by the people who had the dead man had met before he died. And according to Tajumaro and Masago, it was them killed the dead man. But according to the spiritualists, it was the dead man who killed himself. You, who do you think who killed the murdered man?
Tigyo. Hi. Bawa yung minang mag-shooting sa among literature. So, among taga-anog tank sa among driver day. Oh, wala among driver. Among yung driver, among sakyan ka to. Wow. Live ni ba? Live ni ba? Naka-Facebook live ni ba? Connected ni sa Wi-Fi. Uy, ni sa Wi-Fi sa Notre Dame diri ka pun sa among sakyan. Mag-special. Gusto yung makita ng live na suka na doon Meron na rin O, lirib o, dyan O, sa? O, guys, lagi ang lirib no O, sa? Ito na Ito na Ito nga po yung kasama namin Ito yung wala lang. Ito yung wala lang. Ito yung wala lang.